The bed and breakfast controversy is picking up steam as supporters and opponents prepare for the final stretch of hearings before the Honolulu City Council. Well, tonight, a BNB opponent is urging the mayor to veto a measure should it pass. KITV4's Jody Leong joins us live with the story. Jody? Paula, the bill must still go one more round before the zoning committee. If it passes there, it must be approved by the full council with a supermajority of six out of nine votes. That's because the city planning commission has already rejected the proposal. Bed and breakfasts like this one in Kailua are becoming more and more popular as families struggle to hang on to their properties. But opponents have long complained about crowded neighborhoods and parking problems. I know everyone I know. Uh, that's the last thing they want living next door to them. Hawaii Kai resident Bob Hampton wrote a letter to the editor at the Star Bulletin, raising several questions about bed and breakfasts. At the top of the list, enforcement of the proposed regulations. Which means they'd have to hire new people and create a whole new expense uh, bureaucracy. But council member E. Kaika Anderson argues the current amended B&B &B measure addresses enforcement. There will be a $500 permit fee and the monies generated from those fees will be used strictly for enforcement. So the bed and breakfast folks will essentially be paying to regulate themselves. Anderson represents the windward side, one of the busiest B&B districts on the island. He supports the measure as long as the bed and breakfast is owner-occupied. The amended bill requires owner-occupancy. It allows for three rooms to be rented out per home and only two guests per room. While the measure would legalize B&Bs, it also increases regulations. Under the bill, zoning violations would rake in more money for the city. Right now, zoning violators pay about 10% of their fines. Under the bill... If you receive fines totaling $60,000, you must pay $60,000. But Hampton also raises concerns about small Waikiki hotels that are being hurt by B&Bs. B&Bs are their competition, and I think they would feel the hit first. Anderson says he's supporting local families. So many of our local Kama'aina families can hold on to what they have that would allow them to help pay their property taxes. That's the reality that people are facing. Now, the amended bill allows for 1,275 permits on Oahu. Each district is allowed a third of that number. As for the mayor's veto power, Hanneman's office says the mayor would likely not veto the bill if it is supported by the council member representing the district most affected by the measure. Reporting live, Jody Leong, KITV4 Island Television News.